engine failure en route. We'll do the procedure. We're cruising. I'm over 3,000 feet AGL. At this point, you can simulate engine failure by the throttles. Closing mixture, you can actually shut out the fuel selectors. Okay, you can turn it off. However, I would, if I, uh, every time I teach in a plane on a regular basis, I talk with the canopy and I make sure that fuel selector can be shut off and safely brought back on. I wouldn't get into a plane, a multi-engineer plane strange teaching or testing without knowing about that fuel selector. I'll demonstrate an engine failure and again, it main, one of the main things to do is to maintain directional control as you do the engine out procedure. Uh, a lot of people say fly the airplane, fly the airplane. I have always introduced in my teaching uh, heading and altitude, because that's what will make, that'll make the student look good. You can say fly the airplane all you want if you're in a 30 degree diving bank. You know, this will t teach the student what to look at when. So, so you're welcome to fail any engine you want. Anyway, okay, there we go. It's an engine failure. I'm going to level the wings, and if you look over here at the turn coordinate, the ball is displaced there because of the yaw. So I'm going to step on the ball. Not centered, just step on it. And I'm going to maintain my heading. I get a mountain outside there, and it's all coincides with a heading of about uh, 235240. Altitude 6000. Okay, now I'm going to do the power up phrase with his mixtures, props, and throttles. And I'm not going to go below the blue line. I'll check my heading and my altitude. Everything's fine. Check the boost pumps are on, the gear is up, and the flaps are up. Don't just say it, move the switches. Now, I'm going to do the verification part. I'm going to verify it by saying, left foot dead. I bounce it. It's off the rudder. It's bounced. Left foot dead. And I'll pull back the left throttle to verify that that is the correct inoperative engine. So I pull it back and I'll listen, and that's correct. And then I will now feather. We'll simulate feather. We'll pull it back about an inch. You have to verify it beforehand because God lets you feather the wrong engine just once, Mark. Just once, and then he brings you home. Okay. At this point, say it was a real engine failure, right? we would secure the engine. We'd secure the engine by shutting off the fuel, shutting off the magnetos on that engine, and we didn't, wouldn't even need the alternator. Okay. But now we'll bring it back on, online. Now we're fine there. We didn't go below the blue line. This is a very powerful plane. Uh, it, it held altitude real nice. And when you have an engine failure, and you're going to line up there, you know, and if you just go and hold the rudder and aim at that point, what's going to happen is the plane is going to side slip. You have a deflected rudder, okay? So you are now, you're holding left rudder, correct? Correct. All right, so that rudder's sticking out there, so it's going to side slip this way. And you're dead, so you bank into the good engine. Some of us say, raise the dead. We guard the good and raise the dead.